Hello, hi, welcome to yet another video. Today we are going to see the accessories associated with fire protection system. We will be discussing the most modern technological developments in the field of fire protection and also we will go through the guidelines or standards governing each of these accessories. Coming to the overview of the video, we will be discussing about fire hose reel, hose reel cabinets, hydrant valve and stand post, branch pipe and nozzles, couplers and adapters, flexible hose and sprinklers, water foam monitor and alarm valve. This video will be majorly covering the accessories manufactured by New Age. New Age is one of the leading manufacturers of firefighting accessories in India. First, we are going to see fire hoses. Hoses is one of the basic and essential pieces of firefighting equipment. It is necessary to convey water either from an open water supply or from a pressurized water supply. The usual working pressure of a fire hose can vary between 8 and 20 bar. They are classified based on the material used for the construction. Coming to type 1 and 2 RRL or canvas hose, its features are they are percolating in nature. Hoses can be basically classified into percolating or non-percolating type. Percolating feature expresses the porosity of the hose. Percolating hoses are generally used to fight against forest fires. The seepage of water through the hoses protect the hose against damage by fire. In fire surfaces, non-percolating hoses are generally used. Non-percolating hoses consist of a reinforced jacket made from polyester or nylon yarns. This type of hoses has an inner lining of vulcanized rubber which is fixed to the jacket by an adhesive. The use of the non-percolating hoses is recommended in certain application as friction losses will be much less than that of percolating hoses. Coming to the other features of fire hose rails, they will be having an EPDM inside lining. EPDM means ethylene propylene diene monomer rubber. It is a class rubber under ASTM standard D1418. EPDM exhibits outstanding resistance to heat, ozone, steam and weather. It is an electrical insulator. Type 2 hoses have got an elastromatic coating on the outer side. This coating is approximately 10 times thicker than a paint. It forms an incredibly thick yet flexible coating that helps the exterior to be waterproof. Other than this, fire hoses will have the following international certifications also. It will be UL listed, BIS marked IS636, marine approved, mine safety approved and conforming to BS6391 standards. Next type of fire hoses are double jacket hose or high pressure hose. These hoses have got a double jacket. As you can see here, this has got an EPDM lining like other fire hoses and a rubber backing also. Other than this, this has got a polyester inner and outer jacket which gives it the premium characteristics. Its features are, they are UL listed, high burst pressure capacity, excellent flexibility, suitable for CAFS and foam solution and best suited for industrial application. Next is CP hose or control percolating hose. They are percolating in nature and are made up of synthetic yarn. A yarn is a long continuous length of interlocked fiber best suited for forest fires. CP hoses adhere to the following standards. They are BAS marked, IS8423, marine approved, mine safety approved, confirming to Australian standard 279292, confirming to Canadian standard ULC S519195, confirming to New Zealand standard NRFA. 1998. Coming to the next accessory, they are fire hose cabinets. Hose cabinets are enclosures that is used to keep firefighting equipment. Fire hose cabinets will be provided with a key in a break glass unit. Authorized personnel can break the glass unit and can access the firefighting accessories in case of fire. This can be made up of mild steel sheet, stainless steel sheet, aluminum sheet or fiberglass box. Next item is hose reel drums. Hose reel drums are used to keep the fire hoses within the fire shaft. Normally they are fixed within the fire shaft and the drums will rotate when the fire hose reels are pulled off. Hose reel and the cabinets can be of different type. They are fixed hose reel, swinging type hose reel, hose reel with a foam tank and stand mounted hose reel. And coming to the cabinets, they can be single or double hose cabinets or self standing cabinets. Coming to hydrant valves, hydrant valves are the equipments that are used to draw out the water from the fire protection system in case of fire. 
there are different classification of hydrant valve as shown it can be oblique right angle turn down bip nose or straight type it can also be classified as single or double headed hydrant control pressure hydrant valve pressure restricting valve coming to stand post stand post are the post which are tapped from the external hydrant system and will be placed externally hydrant valves will be attached to the stand post to facilitate the function of fire protection different types of stand post are two way type four way type two way with monitor underground hydrant coming to breachings breaching inlet are installed outside the building or any easily accessible area in the building for the fire brigade personnel to access the inlet this inlet is used by the fire brigade personnel to access water from the fire protection system in case of fire coming to branch pipe and nozzles these are used for a range of wash down and jet spray applications and can be connected to standard fire hose or a lay flat fire hose using instantaneous fire hose couplings different types of branch pipe are selectable flow type dual pressure type combined solid jet spray type high pressure type hose reel assemblies and curtain nozzles coming to couplings or adapters or plugs or caps we will see instantaneous type first a hose coupling is a connector on the end of a hose to couple it with another hose or a tap it is usually made up of steel brass or stainless steel these are normally threaded type in nature coming to suction couplings to pump a liquid safely and effectively suction and discharge hose couplings are required delivery hose coupling instantaneous type male or female hose couplings 63 mm size as per is903 made up of gun metal suitable for use with 63 mm firefighting delivery hoses are required draw out connections are the connections which are used to draw out the water from the fire tank in case of emergency and the same can be used by the firefighting department and the balance as you can see here other items are blank caps and the plugs threaded and instantaneous adapters up next is flexible hose and sprinklers flexible hose is a firefighting accessory which comes into the picture during the initial attack of fire in a sprinkler system flexible pipe is used to link the fire piping system to the sprinkler head this comes as a complete unit of corrugated stainless steel flexible with a nipple reducer bar and brackets which can be fitted onto the ceiling tile support to locate and to secure the sprinkler head in correct position flexible hose can be of two types braided as well as unbraided hose unbraided flexible hose is a corrugated access tube it features normal flexibility braided flexible hose is a metal corrugated hose braided with ss wire jacket it is improved flexibility standard sizes are 700 mm 1000 1200 1500 and 1800 mm maximum service pressure is 12 bar and the material of flexible hose is stainless steel these have got ua listing and fm approval as you can see here a sprinkler bulb will have an orifice for water entry and threadings are provided for the connection to a flexible hose or to a rigid piping system the temperature of the sprinkler can be identified from the color of the sprinkler bulb it can be red for 68 degrees celsius and green for 93 degrees celsius a framework is also provided external to the sprinkler bulb to keep it safe from external damages a deflector plate is also provided at the end to deflect the water coming through the orifice when the sprinkler bulb is fused which will be giving an improved coverage a sprinkler discharges water when the effects of fire have been detected such as when a predetermined temperature is been exceeded sprinklers are basically classified into four oil standard upright pendant and reserved coming to the k rating of sprinklers k rating is a coefficient of discharge and it is given by the formula k is equal to q divided by p1 by 2 q is the flow rate in gpm and p is the pressure in psi it is also defined as the amount of water that is permitted through a sprinkler normally k will be 5.6 for all light hazard application next major accessories are water foam monitors foam monitors are jets that deliver vast amount of foam at specified areas in a short space of time all water foam monitors can be operated from a very safe distance which makes them an essential firefighting device now let's see different types of foam monitors water and foam type jet monitors jet and spray type trolley and trailer mounted oscillating monitors portable ground monitors portable oscillating monitors remote control monitors jet ratio controller 
monitor nozzles and elevated monitors. Four monitors can be divided into two based on the type of discharge and they are classified as fixed flow and variable flow for auto flow monitors. Coming to the fixed flow, you can see here 500 GPM, 750 GPM, 1000 GPM and 2000 GPM capacities are available for this water flow monitors. It can be both gear and lever operated. Next one is variable flow water flow monitors. As the name speaks, the flow will be variable and as you can see here, the range of discharges are listed here 500 to 750 GPM, 500, 750,000 GPM, 1000, 1500, 2000 GPM, 2000, 3000 and 4000 GPM ranges are available. Other major accessories are alarm valve. Alarm valve also known as alarm check valve is used to control the flow of water into the fire sprinkler system. This is accomplished by providing a check valve that is closed when the water pressure on the fire sprinkler side of the valve exceeds the water supply pressure. When the pressure equalizes or falls below the water supply pressure, the valve opens and this enables the water flow. The alarm valve should help to maintain the water pressure within the automatic fire sprinkler system and this helping to reduce the possibility of false alarm. The normal sizes of alarm valve used are 4 inch that is 100 mm and 6 inch that is 150 mm. The standard followed are UL 193 alarm valves are used for fire protection services. Material used done cast 10 ASTM A48 class number 35 and it's rated for a pressure of 175 PSI and a test pressure of 350 PSI. This was all about the major accessories used in fire protection system. Hope the video was informative and up next I will be doing a video on alarm valve and motor gong assembly and its basic working. Please like and subscribe my channel if you would like to watch videos of similar nature. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.